Today I'm going to show you how you can modify or change the settings for emergency alert system on your Android smartphone. Typically most smartphones are shipped with the emergency alert system turned on by default. The idea behind this notification system is to inform the public about emergency situations such as missing children and natural disasters. Most of you may have received emergency messages from the government agencies to your phone. Most Android devices, uh, you do have the ability to modify the behavior of these emergency messages. But before I show you how to modify their settings, let's look at what emergency alerts look like. So if I go into the emergency alerts that I received, you can see they are mostly in text format. So they are just like regular text messages. But however, they are highlighted with that red emergency alert message at the top. And in my situation, this is sent by the Alberta government, Alberta Emergency Alert System. And it includes some information in text. Uh, you can also see, you know, I have received a message on June 1st. Uh, then I have received two messages on uh, March uh, 15th. And uh, they could also include links where you can click on it and go to a website and it will have some additional information. Um, now, you can obviously delete one message at a time or you know you can keep these messages if you like. You can also find some little bit of additional information by clicking on the message and choosing view details. The information on the message details section is not very important. Uh, but however, it will give you an idea about, uh, you know, what Android software actually uh, collect, such that it will tell you it's a text message, it's an emergency alert, the time it received, uh, type of message that you received, uh, and, you know, the what type of region that actually cover, like, for example, geophysical. So, this information is not really important to us, but nonetheless, it's available on your Android system if, if you choose to, you know, gather that kind of data. Uh, there's other day information you can look uh, look in here as well. Like, I don't, I don't know why anybody need this, but it's there. Uh, so let's go back. Under settings of your messages app, go to settings at the top and then you'll see the emergency alert settings. In there, uh, choose emergency alerts from the very first top menu item. In emergency alerts, uh, you can change, uh, for example, extreme alerts. Uh, you can turn it off or you can turn it on. Uh, you can have extreme alerts turn off, but then severe alerts will be turned off as well. But however, you can have the extreme alerts turn on the, but then severe alerts turn off, but it's up to you. Uh, you can choose your as per your preference. Amber alert is the next one. Uh, I would highly recommend keeping it turned on. You are more than you know. You can you have the opportunity to turn it off, but however, government data and statistics shows the amber alerts have helped uh, find children when there's a missing children uh, situation. So I would keep it turned on. The last one is the WPAS test alert. Uh, it is by default turn off. I would recommend that uh, keeping it turn off, but you can keep it turn on. It's up to you. This is one of the reasons why some people didn't get the test messages from the government. Last time they tested in Alberta and Canada wide because on by factory default, it is turn off. So if they do the test message, you won't get it if it is turn off. But it's up to you. I typically keep it turn off. You can do whatever. And if you go back to the emergency alert settings, uh, there are a few other options such as the vibration and sound. Uh, it'll play a vibration while the noise is there. It's up to you. There's also an option for a second reminder. Uh, you can keep it off once every two minutes or every five minutes. It is up to you. Uh, what it exactly does is basically it takes the original message and it'll give you a reminder every two minutes or every five minutes. You do not need to keep this thing on, but it's up to you. Uh, it is a personal preference. 
I typically keep it off because there's no need for a second reminder. If you want to test the sound, you can click on emergency notification preview and it sounds like this. And that's it. Uh, I should mention this particular video is based on Samsung One UI 1.0 running on Android P. But you can follow the similar instruction, the same instructions on your uh, smartphone. But uh, the emergency alert options may be under settings instead of under message app settings. But if you have any questions, if you have any comments, you feel free to leave a message. And I will leave some links to my website if you want to follow this on a website rather than on a video. And have a nice day.